Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Last time we made our way into the Thunder Plains. This time we're going to head back here for potentially... Eh, it looks like only one of the cutscenes is available if you go as far as I did. But you want to get the Venus Crest here, and there is a cutscene here with Lulu. There is no another cutscene... She's not appearing. Who is it? None of your business. Don't pry into Sorry. people's public or er, private stuff, buddy. No, it's not your fault. Why aren't you here? Now you can infer who she's refer use who she's thinking about later on. But anyway, yeah. So the guy that we saw running past us at the end of the last episode, there, he'll be here if you just go into the Thunder Plains and then come back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load up uh, a file that where I have you know way back then, and then I will come in we'll show off that scene just you just need to step foot into the thunder planes and then step back right away it's a very short window to uh, get that particular scene but anyway i'll see you in a moment okay we're back just had to load up a previous file to get this scene been a while sis it's been seven years but you still look the same geez i'm older than you now oh i guess it makes sense hey i I brought you something. Check this out. Huh? Uh, there we are. See? She looks just like you. Her name's Yuna. Boy, was I surprised first time I saw her. Doesn't really look like Yuna. <laughs> uh, of course, she's not as good as you. If you were still alive, I bet you'd fight just like her. It's okay. Yuna will beat Sin for you. I know it. So, don't you worry. Cases. See ya. So I guess that's why he's been following Yuna around for a while and, uh, you know, you know, following her around. He doesn't say anything. Anyway, I'm going to go load up my other file and we'll get back into the Thunder Plains. Okay, we're back. Now that we're in the Thunder Plains for real, we'll actually start taking care of some of these enemies. Riku's still going to be doing pretty much nothing but stealing for now, and it'd be nice to get some of those Electro Marbles. Uh, we can get, I think, a Lightning Marble at some point, too, which would also be particularly useful. Uh, you do want to, uh, Titus, uh, when he hits these guys, if you need to do a little more damage, use the Ice Brand that he got earlier in the game, but I should be able to do enough damage with that. Uh, you're weak to water. Do I have a Water Ball? I do not have a Water Ball, so let's give him the switch hitter and hopefully that'll allow him to deal enough damage. This guy can inflict confuse on you, the uh, guy in the middle there, the eyeball dude. So be aware of that. Oh, not enough damage for an overkill. That's unfortunate. Um, we don't need Orn to do anything in this fight or uh, Kamari or Yuna. So unfortunately they're stuck doing pretty much nothing. Uh, that's one of the annoying and tedious things about uh, this area is that the enemies around here, most of the time you'll want to deal with them with, Go with the flow. Uh, Lulu or with uh, Titus. Uh, or, I guess in some cases, uh, Waka as well. And it's rather unfortunate because uh, the encounter rate is so freaking high that uh, you're going to get annoyed with it sooner or later. Yuna, focus. She could focus, but no. Uh, this guy here will cast Thunder on itself to heal itself a little bit. Uh, do I have a Water Strike weapon? You would want to give that to him. And then we'll want to cast Water on you. Like I said before, you can steal uh, Electro Marbles from that one, the one we killed, and we can steal... Uh, light, er, uh, Lunar Curtains from this guy. Lunar Curtains, what they do is they cast Shell when you use them in battle. You have to use Riku's Use Command in order to use them, though. You can't use them as a regular item. Uh, bring in Orin. I don't think so Orin be it. has a Water Strike weapon, does he? No, not at the moment. I uh, wonder which weapon you're actually equipping, but we'll figure that out later. It's not doing so much on the damage front at the moment. Now, I believe you can flick silence on these guys, which makes them a little bit easier to deal with, or it could miss. That works too. 
But yeah, he'll either cast Thundara on his enemies or he'll cast Thundara on himself. Uh, let's see. I don't know how much HP you have left. Bring in Titus. Enough? Not quite enough damage to uh, kill him. He does have a little bit of extra defense. I would like Titus to get the uh, kill on this, though. See ya. Not enough to overkill it, but more importantly, I wanted him to fill up his overdrive. Because you really do want to keep his overdrive full most of the time you're in here. Because if you do run into a whole bunch of Cactars, that's how you're, oops, how you're going to be dealing with them a lot of the time. I don't think there's anything over there. I think I'm a little out of turn here. Now, if we haven't seen these guys yet, uh, these guys are resistant to magic, but they die pretty easily uh, on their own. If I had a water ball for Waka, I would equip it, and that's the power of the, uh, whatever it is, the uh, lightning thing there, the, the lightning shield that I got there. Yuna won't be doing much of anything in this area at all. Uh, it'd be nice if Riku could get her overdrive while she's here, but basically just bring her in to steal. There we go. Uh, let's see, did Kamari do anything yet? I don't think he did. A little bit of water strike. And... What well, no, walk already had a turn. Titus had a turn on, so just Lulu to finish things off. She can. She's the only one who's going to be doing most of the overkilling around here. Because she's the only one who deals enough damage in order to do that. Now, if by some reason you don't have her level 2 elemental spells by the time you get here, you're going to have a hard time. Uh, it's rather difficult to, uh, to progress through here without those level 2 elemental spells. So kind of be aware of that. Cactars. Every time you run into them, make sure to steal the Chocobo Feather. Now, in this case, things are looking up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in Yuna, guard, bring in Waka, and guard. Try and get as many people you can experience in these fights, if possible. Um, so always start with your fastest characters first and guard with them. That way you'll get more turns overall. Um, and so we'll bring in Kamari. And I guess I got to pick between Lulu and Orin because I won't be able to get both of them in. Uh, they're resistant to magical damage as well. So we'll guard with you and I guess Orin misses out on experience for this fight, but that's fine. Uh, and then basically because they have high physical defense, they have high evade and they have high magic defense and they run away quickly. The only real way you're killing them is with things that avoid that type of damage, which in this case would be overdrives. So yeah, you want to be killing them and you want to save your overdrive, especially with Titus, because once he has energy rain, if you have energy rain by now, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, we get Vigilant, which unfortunately is for the wrong character. I think that's a weapon for Titus there. Yeah, you can get things with initiative on them. So I would like to get something like that for maybe for, uh, for Riku, because that would be nice for her, or for Orin. Or, not really for you, not really for you. You could get one for uh, Kamari, but that doesn't really matter. You could get one for uh, Lulu. In fact, I would actually kind of like that to happen. Especially if it had a free slot, because I could put Magic Plus 3 or Magic Plus 5 on there. Or I could put Sensor on there. That's the other thing I tend to do with her a lot. So anyway, there's that. Now, I am looking for a little inlet here. Okay. Stop doing that. There should be a little inlet around here somewhere. Okay, I probably could have got another treasure over on the uh, left there, but uh, be careful with those big armored uh, lizard guys because... Oh, these guys. Because they can do a charge that does a lot of damage to you really quickly and does like a thousand damage. You can almost one-shot most of your characters if they've taken a little bit of damage. Okay, come on, break. Thank you. Uh, from those uh, eyeball dudes, you can also get a, um, or when you steal, you can either get musk or a high potion. So just kind of be aware of that. And this chest should be what I want it to be. The water ball for Waka. Yay, he finally gets it. <laughs> 
Now, even though Strength plus 3 and Strength plus 5 is pretty good, the Water Strike ability will be better. Um, one thing I like to do with uh, all of his balls early... Yeah, that sounds really bad. Uh, but you go into Customize here, and we haven't done any of this yet, but if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, should be whatever the most recent item you got is, the Water Ball. I like to add sensor to all of his elemental balls because I like having sensor open. Uh, you could put strength on there too if you really wanted to, but I like him to be able to have access to all the different elemental weapons. Uh, unfortunately, his fire strike weapon doesn't have a free slot. I really would have wished that it would, but all his other elemental ones have a, uh, a free slot, so they're all uh, scouts there. So. At least I have an elemental ball for any situation now for Waka, which is good because the amount of strength he has early in the game just isn't high enough. Do I get strength anytime soon? I'm not going to make it there today. Never mind. Oh well. Uh, the other thing we could do is we could give Riku a little more HP here since she desperately needs it. she also get a little bit of strength, not that she really needs that because at this point it's just so low that it's not going to really help her. But it will help Kamari when he comes through here because he gets a little bit here and a little bit there, which will be very beneficial for him. And we get a, a few other stats here, a little bit of MP that she doesn't need, a little bit of magic that she doesn't need. But anyway... Just a little bit for Riku to kind of keep her up with everybody else. Uh, make sure you're doing a lot of healing in between fights because the uh, amount of damage you're going to be taking around here is relatively high. Now, once you've activated the second uh, stone, you can run into two. You can still run into one once in a while of these guys. So that's rather unfortunate. But make sure you steal every time you're in here. Um, you know what? This time I'm going to risk it. Oh, there we go. So he only did that. So we're going to bring in Yuna, and she's going to guard. And we're going to bring in uh, Kamari here. And we're going to bring in Orin this time. As you wish. And then we're going to bring in uh, Waka to finish things off. Unfortunately, Lulu will miss out on uh, things this time around. Now, here is attack reels. Now, I'm not I'm out of practice for this, but... Ah, I'm out of practice. I want it. But, uh, yeah, the way it works is you do slots and you get multiple hits in. And they avoid uh, his accuracy because it's an overdrive. And so you'll be pretty... Chances are you'll be able to kill them pretty easily with that. And I got one for Yuna there. I'd like to get one, like I said, for uh, Lulu and one for Orn if possible. Uh, let's see, I wanted to look at something. What did I want to look at? Oh, my brain. Oh, um, overdrive mode for Waka there. Set mode, make sure he's on Slayer. Hopefully you have it by now. Uh, Riku, of course, has next to nothing right now. Uh, Lulu is on Comrade. Now, Comrade charges when your ally takes damage, so basically there's two out of three chances that uh, your comrades are going to get hit as opposed to just you with Stoic, so you'll want that on everyone if they don't have Slayer on. He's got Slayer, Orin. I almost consider taking Slayer off of him because he's not doing a lot of killing right now, but uh, that should change relatively shortly. And you're just on Comrade until you've killed enough enemies to get Slayer. But yeah, make sure he's on Slayer. That way you can keep building up his overdrive as you're killing enemies as you move forward. Okay, now that we've done that, we should have access to... Should be a couple more chests that we have access to over on this side of things. If I can move, that would be helpful. Come on, don't get stuck on things. Nope, I screwed that one up. Oh well. Probably should have got these ones uh, earlier. There should be uh, two more treasure chests I can get on this screen. You can rarely steal a, uh, a silver hourglass from from the big armored lizard guys there. So there's this one. So I believe that's three of them. See what I mean about the ridiculously high encounter rate? Uh, now I believe I already got the treasure chest that was back here, right? I did, okay. So anytime you're near the save point, probably a good idea to uh, heal up there. I didn't miss the... Stop that. Needles! I hate needles! Awesome. Okay, you saw the little quote in that battle anyway. 
Now, one thing I've noticed already, uh, doing the lightning dodging just a little bit, oh, well, there's two of them in this one, and they ambush me. Now, unfortunately, I used Titus's overdrive in the previous fight against Needles um, to uh, take them down, so I don't have uh, anyone, uh, you know, I don't have it ready, but I would like to use Energy Rain to take out multiples if that is all at all possible. Now, they can use a thousand needles on you. Um, I don't think Kamari can actually learn that from them in this game, but um, okay. Uh, let's see, let's bring in Yuna, because she's fastest. Guard. Let's bring in, uh, let's see, Waka, because he's also pretty fast. Guard. Bring in, oh, I shouldn't have done that, because Waka's going to end up, actually, no, we'll have Orin do it. And so we have you, Guard. Unless I already did that with you, in which case that was kind of dumb. Um, Kamari didn't do anything, so we'll have you, Guard. And then we'll finish things off with Orin, since his overdrive will actually hit things. Now, hopefully, I haven't had to use his overdrive since we used it uh, the first time there. So, let's see here. So, I want to do circle and then X. You, away! Hey, it works! I don't get the overkill, unfortunately, but at least I kill them. And the advantage of killing them is more so... Yeah, unfortunately, Lulu doesn't get any. But more importantly, I wanted to hopefully get a weapon that would have been useful for me. In this case, I don't think any of them have been particularly useful, but we'll take a look here. Okay, let's see. Uh, so, we got one for Kamari that we don't really need. We might just pick up that. Let's see. No, unfortunately we haven't gotten anything particularly useful yet. But uh, keep... Uh, going into battle and keep stealing from them. Um, yeah, I did manage to get a lucky uh, silver hourglass from those uh, lightning, armored lightning guys. My timer is not on. Why is my timer not on? There we go. Um, and chocobo feathers. I wrote down 16. I can't remember why 16 exactly, but I know I need at least 10 because I'm going to use them for something. And I'm guessing it's some kind of customization reason why I wanted six more. Okay. Uh, did we get this item yet? Ah, there it is. Walked past it the first time. Uh, I should probably do some healing here. There we go. Yeah, make sure you keep your overdrives up for future battles against these guys. And the more of them you kill and the more of them you steal from, the better your time will be because you're really going to want those for later. I'm going to have to get used to the timing on uh, Waka's overdrive here. Because the timing is a lot different now than, uh, or on the Steam version, than it is on... You can also use your um, Aeon's Overdrives to take out the Cactars if uh, you want to do that. Alright, that's pretty much all for the first half there. We got all the items that we can out of here. Um, there is one other thing I would like to do uh, before moving on too much further. But uh, because of all of the backtracking, all the battles and all the other crap that I've had to edit out, I'm just going to do the Sphere Grid stuff and we're gonna call it a day here just because it's gonna take too long otherwise. All right, now at the start of the next one, we're gonna deal with this stuff. All right, fiends known as Cactars roam the thing. We're gonna deal with those a little bit. Later become High Summoner, so Gandalf the Grey, or the White, depending on your perspective. Uh, he drove them into the plains, gathered them together, linked the sign of X, or in my case, square on PS3 controller. Um, and Cactors turned to smoke and were absorbed by the stone. So that's why we're letting them loose, because they, uh, they locked them up there. Yeah, we need to do one more in order to finish off all the rest of that stuff. I thought there was a book in here that told me how many lightning dodges I've done. All about lightning. There we go. Um, 18, 18 bucks have been struck toward. I dodged eight and only three consecutive. 
But yeah, there's also a whole bunch of stuff that you can do with dodging lightning bolts. So I'll be doing that at the uh, start of the next episode there. But for now, let's do a whole bunch of uh, sphere grinning stuff for a little bit there. So Riku's going to get more HP, accuracy, the luck ability, some agility, and finally a little more strength and MP there. Okay, so I got uh, all those things for Riku there, the accuracy, HP, agility. Uh, the luck ability basically works like the cheer ability. It increases your luck by one point. You can use it up to five times in battle, affects everyone. Very rarely will I be using it. In fact, probably only in one, maybe two battles, you know, something like that. I might use it more late game if there happens to be a reason that I would want to raise my luck, like stealing or something like that. Here we're going to get the reflex ability, which is particularly useful. Um, eh, not, not so much. It can be really useful, though. Uh, some defense, some MP, and looks like some magic up there as well. Okay, it turned out to be magic defense up there, but we learned reflex, which increases our uh, evasion there for all party members, just like the luck ability affects everybody. Defense, magic defense, MP, a little bit of evasion, and more magic defense. Now we finally made it to the next uh, point there, so I'm going to use the HP sphere here. And then we'll uh, power that up there, give you a little more HP, so that'll help you out. Uh, Yuna is going to be traveling a little bit. We're going to learn Cura finally. Some MP, some magic, some agility, and the shell ability. Okay, all finished there. So we got some MP, we got Cura ability, got some magic, some agility, and some evasion. You'll notice that once uh, Yuna gets into this circle, pretty much all of the uh, amounts that she's going to get from her stats are going to be four points, which makes the end of uh, Yuna's grid really, really good for other people to go down because they're going to get agility, some magic defense, some evasion, all things that they actually need. And so it's a really good place to send a lot of players uh, once they've finished up with their own grid. Uh, there is a level 3 lock here, blocking access to Quicket, one of the best abilities in the entire game. Uh, but we don't need to worry about that. This is the end of Titus's sphere grid, by the way. Uh, so he's going to go that way. Uh, we can't get through there until much later, so we're not going to worry about that. And it's not particularly useful for Yuna anyway. Oren, can we get some more strength with you? That would be nice. Defense, HP, some strength... And that seems to be it. And there you go. The three spheres that he got access to. You'll notice something about Orin's sphere grid. It's mostly empty until even later on it's mostly empty. It's unfortunate how empty his sphere grid is. He spends a lot of time just treading water and getting nothing. Rather unfortunate for him, but oh well. Uh, Titus, we're going to hold uh, tight on uh, Titus here. Uh, well, I'll move him to here at least, but... We're just going to hold them there for a moment because in the next episode, assuming things go well and they appear to be going a lot better than they did in my test run, we might be able to get something really useful for him relatively soon. Waka, let's see, what are we going to pick up with you? HP, agility, evasion, MP, HP, the Dark Buster ability, and finally some more strength. Okay, so we got all that and we finally got some more strength for him. More importantly, we got Dark Buster. Now what Dark Buster does is it's a much higher accuracy attack that inflicts dark, but it only lasts one turn. So your chances are you're going to get your status effect to go through, but since it only lasts one turn instead of three, its usefulness is, you know, up and down. You know, it's a mixed bag. Uh, Kamari, Kamari. I'll just do the rest of this one on screen here since there's very little to it. Go, a little bit of agility, a little bit of HP. We're going to go over here. Going to pick up some of these things. Go accuracy. Now here we get the Jinx ability, which lowers luck. It's not really all that useful, but uh, we'll pick it up. I'll use it in one battle. Uh, let's see. Go over here, and we're pretty close to getting into Riku's path and getting a second thief, which will be very helpful. Yeah, not too far there. We've got another like five or six levels, and then we'll want to pick up steel and most certainly use definitely want to pick up both of those and then we'll move into the rest of her sphere grid get a bunch of hp some strength it'll be really good for kamari all right so that's pretty much all there is for that 
next time, like I said, we're going to show off uh, some lightning dodging. We're going to show off some more cactus stuff and we'll continue into the other end of the Thunder Plains. This area is long. Even if you don't spend much time doing extra shit like I have, it's a long area because the battles are so frequent and it just takes forever to get through there with the stupid lightning bolt striking you and stopping you every two seconds. But anyway, that's all for this one and I'll see you guys next time.